red eye in the middle of it that seems to be looking out at everything. Um, currently, he's just kind of kicking his heels up on the table and waiting for everyone to be uh, ready. Okay. Next, tell us about yourself, uh, Light Lapis. Uh, Blue is basically just high elf. Uh, he's always got his hawk familiar on his shoulder. He's got his bow and rapier on his side for when he needs to take them out. I, I guess that's all I can tell. Okay. He's greedy as well. <laughs> Finally, uh, tell us about yourself, Briant. Br Did I get it right? Briant. Bri Bri Bryant. Bri Bryant. Mm. Is that right? Argent, you there? Are you there? Or am I just been this I forgot I'm on push to talk, sorry. Yeah. It's Briant. <laughs> Briant. Okay, tell us about yourself, Briant. So, ignore the fact the image has green skin and black hair. It's supposed to be kind of bluish gray skin and have red hair, rusty red hair. Okay. He's gonna be wearing uh, a kind of awkward looking mesh of metal plates. They kind of seem sprack, but actually provide good protection with his arms and legs kind of uncovered. Um, but he is wearing something. Uh, he wears a he is wearing a kilt as well. Um, he's got a he's got what looks like a kind of a, a, kind of like a halberd, but the blade's a bit heavier looking, more like a, an axe on a long stick. <laughs> an axe on a long stick. He's right. also, also, he does have that this kind of like quiver looking of javelins on his back, like that image shows. It's kind of help. Right, are you ready to begin? Yes. Sure. Right, as you make your way to the mine, this is what you see. I'll change the music. Feel free to reorganize yourself and stuff. And Mooney, you should be able to control the pink circle. Don't delete it, that's just silly. Thank you. He's just moving it around. Okay. Basically, it's a well worn. Oh, wait, I need to put this here. Yeah. It's a well worn um, kind of pathway you're going up here. And it looks like the standard dwarven mine of stone, rock, stone, and carved stone. Uh, so it's just, they're just everything dim light? Yep, everything's dim, basically. And there's some bright light coming from the torches. As I say, uh, can I have my moon touch? Because I've got a moon touch sure. warhammer. So yeah, 15, 15 feet bright. Feet of bright. Uh, Briant also has a uh, moon touch halberd. Okay. I got her 20 feet yeah. of dark vision, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got 60 feet of dark vision. Yeah. I'm a token. Yeah, you are. I have found a door. <laughs> On the door is written in common uh, the following. Don't right. open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's written in common. Yeah, I know we should may have seen this before. Yeah, Ren's just going to say, I think we should probably listen to it. <laughs> Unless you guys are really that curious. Cave just last week. Uh, be careful, we might get ambushed from here, but other than that, we should leave it. We'll keep a note of it for now, and if we can't find anything else, we'll come back. I kind of pour to the half orc and just gesture to take up the rear for now, in case it does get ambushed. Briant will nod and hold his position. I wave the others forward. Uh, maybe I should stay at the front, just in case. That's fine. Keep, yeah, you, uh, anyone else except anyone but me should stay at the front. Okay, as you come around the corner, Apetus, make a stealth check. 
Don't no. Oh, thank God. Beat a four. Uh, that's easier said than done. With disadvantage, I think, because you're wearing heavy armor. Yep, you Three. are. Three. You actually get spotted. Whoosh day! Whoosh day! This guy runs over here. Shit. Not the uh, most graceful, are ya? That's alright. Where are we headed? Uh, north, I reckon. Alright then. We've kind of lost the element of surprise, but. Much. What element of surprise? Exactly. I'll wait for the others to catch up. Especially the squishy rogue. I'm, yeah, I'm still waiting for Squishy Boy to move up because he's supposed to be not at one of the. I was having, having a little problem with my mouse. Okay. As you come around the corner, you hear, Boss, boss, they got you, they got a horse. They put an horse in here. What? That, that makes sense. Why did they bring a horse in here? I don't know, boss. They, they, brought, they brought a horse. Right then, I'll deal with it. Just sit down, and stay calm, and I'll deal with it. <laughs> brought a horse in here. Who brings a horse into a mine? I guess we do. The the centaur brings himself into the mine because why not? It's Norse. I have absolutely no idea why someone would do that. Yep, yeah, it is a conundrum. Also, are we like killing him? I think oh, I uh, so. Okay, the job. All right, All right. I go ahead and cast bless on everyone but me. Okay. Even the even the hawk. Yes, even the half orc. I'm. I am. I said the hawk. Oh no! I can only cast it at first level, so it'd be the three player characters. Okay. Just in case you want. And to uh, I can since I used to spell gem for it. It doesn't waste any slots. Mm -hmm. So, and then we step out. I told you it was an horse. Boss, boss, I told you it was an horse. Right then, I guess we'll have to deal with this horse. Then we'll turn him into glue. So I shivers. eldritch... Yeah, okay. Yep, roll and shivers. You come around the corner. Because they know you're coming, so it's going to be a standard battle thing. Uh, horse, horse. Why being horse down in the no, tiring no. horse? Not makes sense. Uh, I already separate initiative on my hawk, right? Yeah, just roll initiative on your hawk. It's got a macro, so you just click on initiative. I don't hear oh, cyborg twice. You keep saying hawk, and it sounds like hork, and that's why I've been shortening hawk. a half orc too. Yeah, I've been, I've been calling it. Basically, as we say in the UK, you say hawk. Like hawk. Hawk. Like I mean, I say hawk as well, so. Yeah. Maybe that's the way we pronounce our A's. Anyway, uh. Is everyone is ready? Looks like it, Brian. You're the first act. What are you doing? You just said you say your A's is ah, and then you go to my name and ah. Yeah, Brian. You, are you? Aww. You're doing this wrong intentionally. I see. Yes. <laughs> no, it's just Brian <laughs> is spelled uh, pronounced that way because English doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, because I usually stream games. That's why you can't see. Oh. Wait. So Brian charges ahead. Because he hears hostiles. Okay. Uh, you can't quite reach them. So. Now you should be able to see. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll dodge. You'll dodge. So give yourself lightning bolts. Uh, what is the this radius of, of uh, what's it called? Silence. 20 foot radius, that'll be why. 120, yeah. Okay. This thing comes down, bonk, straight down here. Let's check the range. And, yep, it's easily within range. A giant aura of silence that you can't really sense. You just kind of, you kind of feel, if anything. 
Uh, it's gonna I cannot up. hear any. I you, can't hear anything. You can't hear anything basically in that area, and it looks content as it moves around here behind the chair and cowers. Oh no! I'm silenced. Whatever yes. will I? Yep. A centaur. What you doing? Oh, I'm going to run over to this pillar. Okay. So I'm out of the silence and I'm going to cast Shield of Faith. Okay. Need to move before I can cast it because silence. Yep. I'll just have Shield of Faith. So, <laughs> yep. Bell slot. And that's 20 AC. Yep. Wait, what class are you? Maybe, maybe we should have done the classes before we start, but okay. Uh, I mean, else? I did say Paladin. Oh, you're, wait, you're a paladin? Yeah. These uh, conquest. Uh, anything else? It's also she. She's, I said they, so. Uh, any, anything else? Uh, nope. Actually, I'm going to take the dodge action, because Shield of Faith is bonus action. Yep. Lou, your turn. Alright, yeah, we, we have the two paladins. Yep, I'm... What was that? I can't hear you! And I'm gonna hold an action until my... Until an enemy is inside. Oh wait no, an enemy is inside. Shit. Uh, like, inside. Am I stealthed? Are you stealthed? Yeah. No. All right. You'd have to hide. So I'm gonna... Okay, I'm here. Okay, uh... I'm just gonna make a... I'm just gonna hold my action until... My hawk can fly up to him. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's the hawk's turn now because. Yep. Uh, what you got? What's the? Have you rolled initiative with the hawk? Yeah, I did roll initiative with the hawk. Okay, I'll roll 11. it again. And I'll set it to just after you because I'm nice. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> right, hawk. What are you doing? Right. Uh, let me just. The hawk is gonna fly on my shoulder for now. Okay, use 40 feet of movement to go up to me, and then and uh, 80 feet of movement, 80 feet of movement to come in five feet of this guy. Okay, that's and that's gonna trigger a ready action. Go for it. Yep, uh, I don't get advantage because I because I didn't use the help action. So. Yep. Well, if you're dashing, it can't help as well. Yeah, I know. So I he's, it, he's though, gonna take uh, 20 damage. So, yeah. This mad guy with one eye, you shoot him straight in the skull, and he takes 20 damage. Very, very Don't badly. forget your blast, my man. It blessed you. You always had a D4. Beat anyway. AC 15. <laughs> anything else, Mr. Hawk? Uh, Mr. Hawk can't do anything anymore. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Hawk, says the Hawk as he runs towards the Hawk. Great Axe, does an 11 hit? No, I don't know. No, no, I don't what's do the Hawk's AC? Let me search up the uh, let me search up the AC box. I think it's supposed to be thirteen. Thirteen. Yep, it's thirteen. It misses. The orc misses. Ryan, your turn. I mean, it dies if he just breathes on. But yeah, yeah. Orcs I guess I'll on. Eldritch blast the guy that just got shot. Okay, go for it. Make those rolls. That first one's a miss, second one's a hit, and it takes 8 force damage. Do you have any push or pull or anything like that? No. Okay. And that's 20 feet, so I'm going to move back 10 feet behind the pillar and then my... Okay. This Orc Priestess is a bit annoyed that the hand of your, um, the eye of thingy is taking some damage. She's going to run over here and cast Cure Wounds at 3rd level on the uh, thing. Healing it, overhealing it, well not overhealing, giving it 15 HP. And then as a bonus action, oh, I think she's got bonus action. Oh, that's a spell. Never mind. This guy here is going to do something. Uh, he's going to do something. He's going to get off the chair, move down to here, and then dodge. This person here is going to move down to here and cast the following spell. Sp spell. It's called Bless, as you might be aware of it. She's going to upcast it. Oh, so he's going to upcast it second level. Buffing this guy uh, itself. The old self, uh, this guy, and claw, and 
I think it's, that's already 15 foot of movement, it's going to use another 10 to get there. Briant, your turn. Oops, misclick, hold up. Mm -hmm. Um, it's gonna move forward once I load back. Okay. And, um, Ron's gonna roar a challenge at these guys. I don't have any feature to use, but. <laughs> he's just gonna yell at them. <laughs> yell at them, okay. Fight me, you cowards! Okay. Uh, okay then, I will. So um, it's and. And the orcs, they, they vouch. Um, and he, he's not. I'm not gonna dodge. I'm gonna hold an action to attack the first creature that moves within range, which I have re. This, uh, I'm going to pink stick the orc that's going to go for you. Apetus, Apetitus, your turn. So, uh, let's see, 5, <coughs> 30, and keeping dodge action. Because I don't want to stand out in the open. Okay. Is that it? No. Okay. I don't have any bonus action besides spells. Right, this creature is going to cower behind the thing as been ordered. Dodging. Blue, your turn. Uh, who are you attacking, Blue? He's attacking the one next to the hawk. Okay, go for it. Make the attack roll. You very silently fire. Silently, not even I, not even I can see it. Oh, there we go. That is a 16 as a hit. It takes 13 damage. The orc is badly injured from that. Wow. Uh, anything else, blue? Uh, yeah, that's you know. That's the end of my turn. Oh. God damn it, my stupid mics. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, what are you in? Uh, the hawk is gonna disengage and. Uh, let's see, 60 feet. It's gonna disengage and move here. Okay. Go ahead, move End it. of turn. Alright, this hawk here <laughs> is gonna go after the hawk. Running third foot here. Bonus action to running. He's going to take an attack of opportunity on the way past, if you should you wish to take it. I'm going to give him a bonk. Give it a bonk. He runs past, past you, he doesn't even notice you around the corner. I As don't, you... oh. Uh, bam. The 11 misses! He has 13 AC as he runs towards the poor, yes. defenseless hawk. Does uh, a 17 he's... hit, yes. He runs up and cuts the, orc into, uh, to the hawk in two. Splat. Rand, your turn. He did have less, that's what the plus three is. And also the guy is less, yeah, the orcs. Oh. He's going to slash this guy to the north of him. Go for it. Roll th Okay. Try again. Hey, how do you want to do this? I just basically missed the first one, the second one comes down on its head, killing it, and summons the spectre. Do we roll for initiative now, or does it go right after you? Uh, yeah, it has to roll for initiative. Let me see if I can touch it. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I can't click on it. Yeah, yeah, it has to be assigned to you. One sec. Uh, there you go. So. 
Nope, it's still not let me for some reason. There you go. What is your initiative roll for it? Um, I think I'll roll it. It's a d20 plus two, I think. Yep. It's eight. Eight. That's good and bad at the same time. Okay, organize, and then I'll turn around. Anything else? That's all I can do. Okay, this creature here is gonna do what he's, what she said she's gonna do, and go straight for you here. Do you get an op attack on the way in? Uh, I don't get an op attack on the way in, but it triggers my held action. Okay, your held action, which, where? Okay, swing then. There you go. She takes 13 damage as she runs in towards you. She is then going to look with a glint in her eye and cast a curse on you. Bestow curse at level 3. She is going to bestow you the curse that stops you from moving, uh, stops you from taking action, sorry. So make a wisdom save, DC 12. And you have bless, so you should, have, should pass this in theory. So Mr. Hawthorpe, make a wisdom save, DC 12, and you have bless. You pass, and her curse has no effect on you. This guy here, he's going to move around What was that? He's going to run, uh, so not 40, 30 there. He's going to look, he's going to look here, and he's going to dodge. This orc guy, Brumsh, is going to uh, do something. He's going to look through its spells quickly, and it's going to command uh, someone to... No, it's not, it's going to use spiritual weapon. Look our spiritual weapon, and I'm going to put it as a token. Hmm. Let's have a spiritual weapon token. Okay. Uh, elvish, elvish sword. There you go. It's a spear, technically, but there. It's going to move here. It's going to appear here, and it's going to swing at the half orc. So it does a. No, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? I'll give her macros. Uh, what's your AC, half orc? Seventeen. Seventeen. So. Macro generator with the Okay. Right. Does a sixteen hit? No it does not. Does it, the, the no weapon, it doesn't. The weapon attempts to swing itself at you and misses. Brian, your turn. I have a nice me target right here in front of me. So I'm gonna rage and Yep, you're raging. And, uh, I'm just gonna normal. Okay, normal attack, go. Normal attack does 8 slashing damage to her. Don't oh, forget I forgot to rage. Oh, I've got her on range, it's 10 damage. Extra 2, okay. Uh, cursed with ancestral guardian effect, and then. Are you, are you ancestral. Oh, this is, this is multi attack, right? And so she takes, she takes another 11. And she has to hit you, or you, otherwise you get disadvantage, so that's what the pink six is for. Anything else, Brian? Uh. Brian's gonna. move back towards this guy that's dodging. Okay. You're gonna take an op attack if you do this, are you sure? I said I'm gonna provoke! Okay, I didn't hear the provoke, but it does a seven hit. No, it does not. No, it doesn't! <laughs> she swings at you. But even with the blast, that wouldn't hit you. Anything else, Brian? No. What's up? Okay. This guy's gonna break rank and do what orcs do, which is dumb stuff. He's gonna move 30 feet here. Bonus action, walk into range of Briant, and use a following spell on him. Cool. Uh, do you get an op attack as he runs into range of you? No, you don't. I still do not have that feature. Yes. Go for it. Right. Inflict wounds at second level. He's gonna cast, and I have to sort out of a macro for this. Apologies. Spell attack, 3d10. No, 4d10. Yep. Okay. Picked wounds. It's I. Right. He's going to cast at level 2. That's the highest thing. Cast 11 misses. <laughs> that would have done a lot misses. of damage. Thank God. Uh, you yeah. are pathetic. <laughs> he says in response. 
Ape, your turn. That's my turn. Yep. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see, back up 10 feet. And then. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Charge and sleep. Yep. The York woman, go for it. Let's see, boink. That hits Seven four damage. Oh, you just eviscerate her with the, the warhammer. Uh, let me check something real quick. Oh, it has to be against the same target. Mm. So no hoofs against the angry green man. Yep. We're missing his target. Uh, yep, that's all I'll do. Okay, blue, your turn. Okay, so I'm busy. Okay. 15 feet of movement, blues and move, we are using 15 feet of busy movement. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he's going to make a long bow attack at this guy. Go for it. What? Go for it. Go for it? Alright. Okay. Yep, go for the roll. At 23 hits, he takes 15 damage. He's very badly injured. Uh, and I'm going to use 5 feet of my movement to move here. And bonus action hide. Okay, make a stealth throw. Uh, Mr. Spectre, your turn. He's going to move down to the dodging guy below. Mm -hmm. And we'll make an attack. So feel free to move him, you should have control of him. Yeah, the, 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 the I, I can't. Oh, you can't? Yeah, I can't. Oh, nope. I've said, I've said you have control of him, so you should. Yeah, weird. Okay, go ahead. Uh, can you control the macros on him? Nope. Wonderful. Okay, uh... I'll, since he's dodging, I'll roll 2d20s and take the lower one. Yep. And watch the to hit with your monster. So, 13, does that hit? 13? No, does not. Alright, that'll end his turn. Round your turn. Go and move here and attack this guy at disadvantage twice. Okay, go for it. I think it's terrible. AC 15. Yep, your first, uh, your hits, hits. He takes five damage. Uh, sorry, eight damage. And I uh, assume that hits again for twelve. Yep. He's in That's all I can do. Annoyed. Yep. Okay. Right. He's going to do something clever because he's a clever boy. He's going to cast the following spell: darkness. Uh, which is 15 foot, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. It's 15 foot, I'll get green for this. He's gonna cast it right here, blinding you, because you cannot see through dark, apparently. Uh. Um, through darkness, he thinks. Sure. Exactly. Block was that there, and then he's gonna run up here and take the up attack, because you know you can't attack him, yep. because you can't see him. He runs up here. I, I'm assuming this is at uh, normal. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Does it, can yeah, you he run he through does. the spectre? Yeah, he moves past it, and the spectre can't okay. attack him because the spectre can't see him. The spectre is dark. Ooh, he takes t eleven damage. Uh, Sorry, I no. guess I'll. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll just eldritch smite it. So yeah. that'll be uh, eight d eight. Eight d eight. Go ahead. Let's see if you roll more than if you roll more than twenty, I might as well not make him prone. Because he'd just be dead. Yeah, he's dead. He just obliterated. Super him. dead. Super dead. And without the Goodbye dark, darkness, my darkness old friend. Is, yes. Right, that's the end of his turn. This orc guy is concerned slightly about this. And gonna look through the spells. Uh Maybe. well they can bonus action their spiritual weapon. Yes, they can, but they might want to use their bonus action for something else. It's going to use an action to command uh, Ava just to just, just like uh, appro not approach. Hmm. Which one can I pick? Uh, let's say flee. Flee, yes. She's going to command Ava just to flee. So, Ava Titus, sorry, to flee. So, make a wisdom save. DC, terrible. DC 11. Wow, that's a busy one. Yep, you pass. And spiritual weapon, classic against the. Uh, Against uh, Abritus, because it's uh, the closest one. 
does a 13 hit. Thought not. Brilliant, your turn. I'm attacking this guy that tried to bad touch. Bad touch, yep, go for it. That's a hit, he takes 10 damage from the first one. Attack. Two. He says he's attacking again. Yeah, of course, yeah, he dies. The second one. Um, then I'm going to. Move to here and end my turn. Okay. Abertitis, Abertitis, your turn. Uh, I'm going to charge. Oh, I have just enough movement. Uh, hi -ya. Oh, That's a miss, unfortunately, you swing at him. Uh, oh, I was going to say use Guided Strike, but you said miss before I could say it. So, oh, sorry, oh, well. you, can, you can Guided Strike it. You know that their, their ACs were above 11, so you can Guided Strike if you want. Yep. Uh, guided Strikes, so that makes it a 21. That hits for 11 bludgeoning damage. And then Hooves. Hooves. The Hooves hit as well and do how much damage? 5 I've... bludgeoning damage, wow. That damage is absurd. Takes another 5 bludgeoning. Uh, spiritual Weapon isn't concentration. No, oh, but Blesses, I guess. Blesses, yes. Anything else? Uh, that's everything. Blue, your turn. I'm gonna move up to here, this place. Can you move where? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at this guy again. Go for it, yep. Do you have sharpshooter? No, I don't have sharpshooter. What, okay. What sharpshooter? So it gets plus, plus two to their AC. If you shoot through an ally. Okay. So go ahead and make the roll. Right. Okay. I'm going. It dies. End of combat. <laughs> with the with hey. the got the twenty one damage, just dies. And I'll change the music. You just you just see blue go up the body, spit on, and say, "Never hurt my hawk, or this will happen." <laughs> it's dead. So, but okay. <laughs> yeah, bless is gone, guys. Yep. I'm keeping shield of faith up for as long as I can, so that's ten minutes. Yep. You can take a short rest now if you wish. I'm good. What about this key thing on the floor? It's a giant key, yeah. Very big, heavy bronze Very big, key. Heavy. That means I can pick it up. How much key? Yeah, free art with like. Uh, free I can lift like 30 times my strength, so. You can Never just, mind. You can just about pick it up on your own if you want to lift it up on your own. 140 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, DM, you can go ahead and delete the other specter. Okay, the one to your left? Yeah. You can control the one to the right, so that's good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I have an idea. Where are you going to go uh, can with I this go... giant key? I was going to say, can I claim the giant's head first? The giant's head? There isn't a giant here. Of whatever the big... Th oh, was the big thing not a giant? No, the, no, giants are giant. You'll see. You know oh, when no. you meet a giant. <laughs> there are no giants here, just walks. It was ugly. That's all I care about. <laughs> Do you want to take a short rest? Right now, no. Hell uh, no, I, we still have I'm... most of our resources. I don't have my channel divinity, I could get that back. <laughs> we have who all of one short rest soon. True, I just don't know who else gets what on a short rest. I have uh, something I can get back in. Uh, and first and foremost, is forward. Abertus, make a perception check. Abertus. No! It's a uh, perception, perception. You find. Perception. You hear some voices to the. Uh, to the. Uh, okay, I misspelled this, I know, but. I hear about. West. I'm pretty sure 
without having to, without actually knowing. Ah, all right. I'm gonna mention to the party that to try and be ready because I think I hear someone coming out the no entry door. Um, yeah, well, we could prep, I guess. Um, do you guys want bless again, or? It could be handy. It could be handy. Alright. I'll spend one of my paladin spell slots and give everyone but me bless. Okay. Excluding me and the specter and the hawk. Okay. Well, the hawk's dead. The hawk's dead. dead. Yes, and be hawk. Yep. And already an Eldritch Blast. Okay. I'll ready a longbow. I don't have much to ready, so I'll just ready to hit something if it comes into my range. Likewise. Okay. Uh, I don't... <clears throat> I'm hearing things. Very much concerning things. And I, I think they're going to try to ambush us. Can I try to listen in? Yep, make a see perception if I hear check. I'm concerned. You I'm hear, concerned you hear, ping things. you hear sounds. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, they're definitely going to try and ambush us. So. Alright. Yep. Yeah. I got an idea. Ren's going to uh, send the spectre out and it's going to die. Good idea. Okay. How can it dodge? You can't see anything. Yeah. It's just going to be moving around erratically. Okay. It's going to start moving around erratically. I'd like to move the spectra once. I'll move it here. Roughly here. Yep. Can you all run this, please? Initiative started. Yep. Should I have this music? Well, I've all hardly. I was too busy listening to his heartbeat in his ears. Yeah. <laughs> One sec, I'll roll for the Spectre. I don't know why it's given that no attribute thing. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. Alright, 13. Initiative. Yep. No, we don't. One the one the Oryx doesn't have initiative. One second. Oh, that one's this one. Oh wow. Wait, Oryx? Oryx. Of course they are. Right. First one to act is this Oryx as it comes charging out from behind the corner, sees the the dead thing and looks at it funny. Oh, boss, are we supposed to attack it? <laughs> Does, yeah, seven, uh, does a 15 hit the Spectre? Yeah, so 15 hits. Okay. Uh, and the other one's an 18, I'm assuming. Why? Why would it be an 18? I, I just see two Great Axe attacks. I thought he was attacking twice. He was. Okay, so 18 and 15. Yep, both of those hit. So that's uh, 6 crit. damage total. The second one crit. No, he's dodging. You have to see the target to dodge. Okay, so that's uh, pre seven plus three, so that's otherwise he yeah, so that's ten damage. <laughs> Although weird, yep. So he takes yeah, and of course halve it because it's not magical. Right, and now I'm going Eldritch Blast him since he came around the corner, okay, and I guess it. everyone else can yep do let's their see these ready to actions. Yeah, I had a long yeah I had a long board. They yep, let's see these ready to actions roll. That's a miss. Woo. That is. Oh, a, damn! That is some damage. He takes a whopping 14 and then 9. He takes some damage and is very angry at the little person at the back. 
Uh, right, any more ready actions? So that was do, do, done. Right. Uh, next person, the war chief. He comes around the corner. He, he sighs at the fact his ally has attacked the wrong thing. This guy's gonna run over here, straight at to taking an opportunity attack on the spectre. Okay. As he runs past, the spectre tries to drain his life. This is a 21 hit. 21 hits. Should I use the average or should I use the. I won't use the average, I'll just change the macro for War Chief because it's a stupid thing, macro with the Grax. Uh, so it's 11 damage, necrotic. Yep. Uh, 1d12. Takes 11 necrotic and he spec con save. And. Okay, right. And then as he does this, he's going to make a con save. Let's see if he loses maximum HP, not that it matters. Just doing us a flavor, he passes and takes only 11 damage, not to his maximum HP. He stares down right. the, the warlock and swings his great axe above his head. Does a 12 hit? Miss. Does a 18 hit? Miss. Oh, yeah, 20 AC. You got a shield, don't you? Mm, no, it's just 20 AC, yeah. How'd you get 20 AC? Uh, plate armor plus shield, or a regular shield. Yeah, I asked if you. No, don't mind. It's the, Mr. Spectre, what are you doing? He's going to tap this guy to his left. I don't know what the macros are doing, so I'll roll it. Yep. So he only gets one attack, unfortunately. Yep, that's a miss. Rand, your turn. Alright, that's all I can do. Um, I guess I'll swing at this guy in front of me. Okay. Give him a swing. Bring it down upon him, but he just effortlessly dodges the first attack. The second one hits him for eight bludgeoning. Alright, that's all I can do. There be Titus. Uh, okay, so let's see. Move by here and. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, I don't suppose I could rear back first for the charge and move up because I was ten feet. Yeah. Can if we want. I'd okay. say you can roughly hit him. Yeah. So don't worry. You can do the charge. Uh, hiya. That's a miss. I know. But the hooves. That uh, also misses. Hoof. No, I can't use hooves unless I hit anyway. So. Yeah. That was enough. That was preemptive. Oh, okay. So neither hit. Anything else? Uh, nope. Bonus action, uh, action, and movement. Longbow. Longbow, this Under guy. Under Yep, he has plus 2 AC, you know why. Go ahead and roll. Yep. Uh, I don't know how to add bless into that thing. Uh, you would miss uh, anyway for bless. Nine yep. misses, and uh, your longbow shot goes wide. Yep. Okay, end of turn. Brilliant, your turn. Uh, so gonna move. I'm gonna poke this boy. Okay, this guy here, go for it. He's man, I wish you were be hiding, but it's up to you, man. The boat's your float. He takes six damage. She poke him with a stick. Why should he be behind you? No, I say I wish Blue would be hiding. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it's whatever. Um. Oh, I get. Yeah, you do it too. You give him another poke. This time it misses. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Enter. <laughs> okay. This orc here is gonna follow the orders of his boss and not attack the the undead thing. Instead, he's gonna move there with thirty. Then he's gonna bonus action dash into the middle of all three of you. And this is where it gets interesting because the spectre gets an attack opportunity. Yep. And then he is. Gonna no, it his... already took one. I thought. No. I, that's why I have the token for this. Remember, I put the token and remove the token when it's the, their turn. So, yeah, he's got his. He's got a, All uh, right, yeah. 11 misses. Yeah, miss. Then I give him the token like this so I can. Don't forget. This guy's going to great axe Rand. 11 misses. Yep. This Auric here is going to do the most sensible thing and run up to here. And see the Spectre, and he's going to disobey his orders again. He's going to swing at the Spectre. Does a 14 hit? It does. So it takes half a 15. 
And yep. there's a 25 hit, so that's half a three. Uh, half a seven. Yep. It's Zorok here is going to continue with his uh, despairing orders attacking the undead thing for five slashing halved. And then. Uh, two. Yeah, and then 15 slashing halved. For That'll one. finish it. He looks, he looks proud of himself, and the orc war teacher just turns back and just shakes his head. I told you not to attack the dead thing, you're supposed to attack the living ones. He says, and he uses his battle cry, roaring as loudly as he can. Bonus action, great axe against uh, Rand. An 18 misses, thank god. Yeah. Battle cry against the vine? Okay, cool. Rand, your turn. Yeah, I'm going to attack this guy to my west here. Go for it. Wait, he doesn't himself get the advantage? Huh? I don't think so, that's the thing. I was, if he did, then it would crit your ally and do 30 damage to him. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Yes, he takes 9 bludgeoning. I'll give you a reaction back as well. Takes another um, bludgeoning. How's he looking? He's about half health. I can tell that. I'm going to uh, Eldritch Smite it, and um, I think I'll pop a Divine Smite as well. So that's a 78. Okay. Go for it. Ah. So Radiant, because it's Radiant and Force are the same damage types to this guy, I don't care if you are it together. He takes 32 damage. He just grins at you as he's like literally on his last legs, like bleeding. That's all I can do. Abertitus, your turn. Oh, uh, whack the war chief. Go for it. You hit him. Hitting. For eight bludgeoning. I know what. Anything else? Not that everything. Blue, your turn. Is this guy still... Is this guy... This guy still alive, right? Yeah, if they're on yes. the map, they're alive. Huh? If they're on the map, they're alive. They're alive. If they're on the map... Oh yeah, they're alive, yeah. My bad. Um, I'm gonna shoot him then. Move my longbow. Okay. Go for it. Shit, let me try it. That is enough to kill him. It is. He dies. B move and then bonus action. Hide here. Okay, move there. Move and here. Make a bonus check. action. Rian, your turn. Give him the stab. That guy right there. Okay, you stab him. Go for it. Or you attempt to stab him. You you successfully stab him for five damage, and then nine damage, leaving him on literally one HP. Dang it, I should have raged. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, no. Well, no, we still have so much resources. There's no point in taking the short rest after the. Actually, I'm out of resources. Oh, then yeah, I'll actually use Hold up, I'm going to actually use the ability. What are you doing? I'm going to use the extra damage. On. Oh, that attack, the last one, because I okay, want to get... Yep. He dies. And yes. Yeah. Move up to there, and then my... And turn right. This orc here is going to run at you, run at the orc with glee, swinging wildly. Does a 19 hit. Uh, brilliant. Take 10 slashing, and then... 24 hits for 8 slashing, so take 18 damage. His advantage because of the battle cry last time. This one here is going to go for the uh, centaur. Does a 18 hit? No, it doesn't. Oops. Does a 13 hit? No, it doesn't. Rand, your turn. I'm going to um, Eldritch Blast, I guess, the uh, Orog in front of the or Yep. Go for it. So it's slightly more HP. Takes a whopping seven damage from your first average blast. The second one bounces off his armor. That's all I can do. Abertitis. Uh, bonk. Your bonk is ineffective. It just bonks yeah, itself. Yeah, that's sick. Anything else? Abertitis. That's, every that's everything. Okay, <laughs> level three, level fours. Blue, your turn. Okay. Uh, ten feet of movement over here. Yep. 
Okay, well, this guy shoot. I'm gonna shoot him. Go for shooty, it. shooty. Go for it. Do I get advantage? Advantage, yep. It's plus two AC, but you also have advantage. You miss. He's blessed. Oh, yep, you are blessed. Yep, you are blessed. Uh, roll the one. Yeah. Yeah, roll yeah, one four. Get more than a twenty. So no, you miss. Eighteen misses. God damn it! Because you have uh, yes, plus three C. Uh. Okay, then I'm going to use my and hide. Okay. Again. Brilliant. Your turn. Okay. Sorry, I had my yeah. things muted. Okay, so Brian's going to be uh, splitting his death. Go for it. Hello? Hello? So for he takes north. four damage and start to start to be bloodied. I'll give them the bloodied sticker. And south. South, okay. He takes Not no damage, damage as your weapon just bounces off his plate armor. I wish I had bonus actions. I had my turn. Okay. This Auric here. One down here is going to go for the central two attacks without advantage. And a 15 misses, but a 20 hits for 13 damage. Apertitis and make a con save. Meanwhile, <laughs> this one here is going to decide whether he's going to hit you or the. Yep, you pass. He's not going to hit you. Oh, he is. What, a, what is he going to. Yeah, this one's going to go for the oh, half orc. Take six slashing and then seven slashing to half orc. Rand, it's your turn. Uh, bonus action, Hexblade Curse, the um, red guy. Yep, he's now Hexblade Cursed. Okay, I'm going to step up and swing twice. Uh, you're going into melee range with them and then moving back afterwards. Okay. Yes. Right. You get an extra three damage with your attacks and you crit on a 19. With those rolls. Said. Yeah, sorry, I'm uh, just updating the attack. Okay. Yeah. That hits for 15 bludgeoning damage, one shot to him. The second one hits the guy below for 15 damage, doing some damage to him. I'll step back and take that up attack. Okay, does a 21 hit you? Yes, it does. Take 9 slashing damage. Yeah, and I need to make a con save for Bless. Yeah, unfortunately. Abertitis, what are you doing? It's still up. Yep. Moving forward a bit. And. Bonk! He takes some damage. Roll for damage. He takes five bludgeoning oh. if you bonk him on the head. And I'm gonna move behind him. Oh god. Uh, that's everything. Blue, your turn. Alright. <clears throat> Using 10 feet of movement, I move here again. 10 feet of movement. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna shoot this guy over here. Okay. Long road attack? Yep, long road attack. He has 20 AC, you know, for the same reason. But you have advantage because you were hidden. That hits for 9, 8 damage. Okay, end of turn. End of turn, brilliant. Your turn. Uh, gonna step back my feet. Okay. He has no reaction, you know why. Yep. I'm uh, gonna give him the stick. Okay. Well, that put a dent in his plans. Roll the damage. He's in 1 HP. And the second one ends him. Combat is over. Do you want to take a short rest? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Well, that's like die. Short rest time. Yep. Mm. Um, Blue, you should probably move towards us. Alright. Although, thing, although I prefer to like, stay behind two people. I guess this is behind enough. So, who's the most messed up?
Like nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nobody speaks up. I only needed one hit dice, so. Oh, uh, blues is Thanks. gonna hand you. To the person with the least HP right now, blues is gonna hand you a person of healing. Oh, Andy. Oh, I Andy. don't think anyone has. I, that's probably the centaur. I don't. I don't think I need a potion for just four health. It'll come in handy. Just roll another hit die. Why not? Okay. I'll just roll another hit die. It's not point not to. Hey. Funny, I got that one first. I mean, you never know when you... You know, you never know when you eat those extra four hit points. Mm -hmm. I've got three potions on me anyway, so I'm fine. Okay, understandably, the shield fate disappears, less disappears. I've d already subtracted the AC. Okay. Just remind, remind myself to remove the tokens. How's everyone's, um... Resources look. Uh, I have two spell slots left, and after the short rest, I'll have my channel divinity back. Okay. Um, the only I I still have two regions. All right. Um, the only thing I'm missing now is the uh, paladin spell slots, so I can't really bless you guys anymore. Well, you couldn't dare use uh lock slot for it. Mm. In any case, um, I think we still gotta keep going, so... Yeah. Uh, do you think we should head into the Don't Enter room yet? Yeah, we need to head south. Oh, people are heading south, okay. E. Oh, it's a long corridor. I don't like long corridors. Yep, as you walk down the corridor, it gets larger and larger. Uh, uncomfortable. Almost like it was designed to calm the larger creep. These were mines originally. I don't think they were intended to have them in. Um, do I need the key? Uh, you got someone else carrying the centaur key, has. I've got the big key. I'll go forth with the big key. Uh, before she sticks it in, I'll uh, down a potion of fire breathing. Okay. You put the key in the lock. It's a very large key. Do you want to give it a turn? Uh. Can I shield a faith before I turn the key? Yes, you can. So that's the way you see. And where is it? Where's the lock gone? There it is. See if everyone's ready before yep. turning the key. Is everyone ready? Yeah, yep. I finished down in the potion in my feet uh, away. Okay. breath of smoke. I was going to say, suggest that they don't stand right in front of me and then turn can the key. Can you roll initiative, please, as this disgusting large creature appears in front of you. Uh, it's one ugly boy, and I get one on my initiative. Thanks. Huh. Okay. He's one ugly boy. For those who can't see him very well, this is what he looks like. He looks very hungry, and he looks at uh, Brian, and the, the, the rest of the race looks at the squad and says, FOOD! Brian, your turn. Come on. Ears. What if he's secretly an ogre? Looks like I need better music than this. Get to temple going. I need my food. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> how's me? So what are you doing, Brian? Are you still here? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was first in initiative. Yeah, it's um, like green, green, yeah. Please, <coughs> let's get... Arth, please do not jinx me, I know you're here. Uh, so I'm gonna read... I'm gonna rage. Mm. 
move to about here. Okay. And give him the. St give him a poke. Give him a poke then. Your poke misses him. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to miss a target that big. The second one hits though, roll for damage. <laughs> Takes 13 damage. Uh, end turn because still I'm on bonus action. Blue, your turn. Uh, movement, dash, and hide. Okay. Roll for self? Uh, you're hiding behind a door. The door's pretty much open, yeah. but I'll say you can hide behind it if you want. Yeah, like over this part, like the stone wall connected yeah, yeah, to the door. Yeah, I know what you mean. Go make a self check. Yep, you're pretty well hidden. Anything else? Nah, that's your turn. Right. This guy here is gonna run 60 foot down here. Rand, your turn. I'm going to bonus action hex the giant. What's that? You know, just hex. Regular hex. I'll yeah, post it. Are you using hex play curse or hex the spell? Just hex the spell. I think it's bigger stat that you're gonna hex. Um, I think I'll hex, um, <clears throat> Wisdom, so he has disadvantage to see red. Yep. Yeah. And, um, I'll attack him twice. Go for it. Two Eldritch Blasts. The first one misses him completely. I don't know how you managed to miss him. You missed him with the first one. The second one hits him for 16 damage. Yep, now in my turn. This other orc is going to creep his way down here. The, it, the creature here is going to roll a d10. This is the way, the way it's interesting. I roll a d10. Nine is the thing. If you make three attacks against a random target within his reach, no other creature is within its reach. The giant flies into rage and gets advantage on attack rolls to the end of his next turn. Is it within? Well, reach? it uses all its movement to get near. Him, oh to yeah, get of course. Near the creature oh, of course, first. of course, you're right. Hello. Does a 20 hit? Yep. Okay. Right, and two of his fists. So you first will take 19 piercing or halved. That's not magical. Or not that it matters. And then it's going to punch you twice. Thank um, you. Um, missing, missing hit. Missing hit. So you take 19 piercing halved and 18 bludgeoning halved. So I take 18. Yep. In total. Hepatitis, your turn. Uh, let's see how far away. Other people should actually get in in close range with him. Uh, habitat. Should I should I assume that I'm in this square? Yep. I'll back up ten feet and then get close. Feet. Oh, yeah. that's how you. Get close. You only need uh, you only need twenty feet to charge. I thought. But it's thirty. Yep. Yeah, it's thirty. So go ahead and make the attack roll. That mm. hits, but no, it doesn't actually. You're not blessed. <laughs> the Warhammer. Uh, mess, you messed him. He's AC 14, dude. And you managed to miss him with the Warhammer. Fun idea. Uh, guided strikes. I don't want to miss. Okay. Roll for damage. Takes oh, five bludgeoning. And then I'm going to hooves. Yep. The hooves hit for. No, the hooves miss. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I need to turn that bless so, off. Yeah. There we go, I've turned off Bless now. Okay. Oh good, Guided Strike. That's everything. Brilliant. I'm gonna keep announcing it keep wrong. Announcing it wrong. Briant is going to give him the st Give him the poke. <laughs> Your poke bounce up missing. Oh. He's huge! How'd you miss him? <laughs> oh, that one hits though. It kinda cuts across his chest for a whopping 15 damage. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> uh. Mm, I'm gonna move. You're gonna move. You just cut out there. See so. here. Sorry, I had to. I had to change where I was clicking on. I pushed the touches on my mouse. Move your turn. I'm gonna move five feet over here yep. and make a long move back on the back. Go for it. Yep. He, he doesn't get any cover. Don't worry, he's huge. You can't. Ooh, someone's playing around with my thingies. Uh, a 10 misses him though. Oh no, you have advantage. No. Yeah, he's yeah. Got it. And then 12. Yeah. As you snipe him in the eye, and he seems upset. Mildly upset. 
And I'm gonna move again, back here, and I'm gonna hide again. Yep, stealth check. I'm awesome. Fuck. So this time there actually is a giant. Yep. I mean, he has this advantage on his, um... Perception rules, you know? so he's has perception so. minus five. So, you know, uh, this orc here is going to bonus action run into the guy here, swinging wildly, missing the ten. Rand, your turn. Um, he's just going to Eldritch Blast the big guy. Okay. I'm super not worried about the big guy. Big guy takes a whopping 13. First one, 11 of the second. He looks very badly injured. Yep, now in my turn. This orc here is going to come down here, meet a uh, bonus action run, and attack the barbarian for a miss. Okay, this creature is going to roll a d10. Six, let's see what uh, this one is thing. Six. He is going to make one attack with his bite and one at the random target with his reach. Okay, so one bite. Just one attack with this bite? Okay. Habititis. There's a 25 hit. <laughs> 24. Yes, it and it does half damage. Oh, because you've marked him. I keep forgetting about that. Yep. Haha! -ha! Then he would have attacked you, Thank you instead, but okay. You take nine. Well, it's random. He still attacks random. Yeah. But yeah, take nine and yep, make I'm a save. Nine. Uh, can't save. Uh, punch someone. Uh, nope, you're bye bye, shield of eight. Shield went, went down. Uh, so just one, one rat ten against one random target in reach. Well, that's a terrible roll. And, and a punch. Yep. I'm Titus. No, it takes a bite and. Does it say that? I'm blind. Uh. Oh, one attack yeah. with this Never mind, I was... One attack, that is rubbish. Avatar, your turn. Uh, let's see. Uh, Angry Bonk. Hey, yeah, 20 hits. This one yeah, yes, it does. You end him. He just collapses on the ground. And I'm going to move up here. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. I'm General here. Kenobi. Right, Rian, your turn. Uh, let's put... I'm gonna attack that one. First. Okay. You missed that one. Okay. Um. I'll... That one. That hits. Four. Enough damage to kill it. Rip. The rip. Rip and tear. Yep. Move up here. <laughs> stare, stare the one that I missed down, and then my. Okay. Blue, your turn. Five feet of movement here. Five, ten feet of movement here. Mm -hmm. Uh, another five feet over here. That's fifteen feet of movement. Yep. And I'm gonna make a longbow attack. Okay, go for it. Because you were the word burned there. Because you hit him last time. That misses it. AC 13. 15 feet movement here. Yep. Okay, give me a second. Uh, and then dash over here. Bonus action dash. That's the end of my turn. Okay, round your yeah. turn. Bonus action hex the guy up there still wisdom. Okay. So wisdom. Gonna swing at him twice. Go for it. Would he live through this? That is the question. Oh he dies. Oh he doesn't die, he's one HP. Attack two. He's dead. Now <laughs> he's super dead. Yeah. And that's all I can do. Okay. Combat ends, or so you think. Hepatitis, what are you doing? I'm taking the skull of head, okay. the giant. <laughs> right. 
able to do anything, or can I just take it? You can take it. Put it in your inventory. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Um, you feel the presence of something moving closer and closer and closer to you. Brilliant, what are you doing? Can I tell where that's coming from at all? No, it's just a general feeling. Something is unnerving. Something <clears throat> unnerving. Yes. Very much dislike this music. Yes. <clears throat> um, that. Uh. Still can't see anything. K, enter. Okay. Rage falls off. Alright, Blue, what are you doing? H hiding. Uh, bonus action hide. Okay, bonus action hide. Anything else? Nope. Alright, Rand, what are you doing? I call out to the orc, stick together. Um, that's 10 feet, so. Uh, for my action, I'm going to uh, call out the command word and summon the python. Yep. Python has been summoned. Do you have, do you have control of it? Uh, I actually do. Which one? Do you, can you, do you have the control of the top one? Surprisingly, both of them. Good, I'll get rid of this one, because it doesn't have a HP pop. Okay, and let's roll initiative for it, and then what are you doing with it? Wow, that's a nice initiative. Um, it's got blind sense, so I'm having it search around. Okay, so as you summon it, just search around. Abatitis, what are you doing? I'm very much nervous. Don't like being like this. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, lay on hands myself. Nine health. So I have six lay on hands left. Yep. I don't like you. <laughs> okay. Going. I'm just going to call out. I'll ask who the hell is there. There's just no response. Just eerily quiet. But there's something definitely coming for you. You can all feel it. It's coming. Uh, what are you doing? Apart from that. Uh... Lottie's... To... Put my, uh, Warhammer away. Yep. Object. Mm -hmm. And then, I guess next turn, I'll just put my shield away and pull out my greatsword. Because I'm nervous and I want to be able to hit things. Okay. Snake, what are you doing? Is going to search around. Perception check. Go for it. It's going to like stick its tail around. Perception roll for the snake. It does not sense anything around. True, but it's got ten sense of uh, ten feet of blind sense it around sense it. So. Around. Still else? nothing. Yep. Still nothing. All right. That's all I was going to do. Okay. The the thing, the feeling of something is getting close. You gets closer and closer and closer. Uh, right. Let me check something. I'm gonna to have to set up all this stuff for it. It's gonna move there and it's gonna dash an extra thirty feet. Is it? You hear like the sound of tentacles and like sl slopping on the stone floor. Brilliant. Uh, I don't. I don't like the sound of this. I need. I'm gonna drink a potion. <laughs> he said, "I don't sound this." <laughs> Rage falls off. <laughs> Rage potion. Can you actually see him, Brian? Doesn't matter. Blue, what you oh doing? yes, I totally can. Oh, sorry, oh what the else, hell is anything else, Brian? What is that? Um, some is sort that, of knowledge check. That's so, a... uh, Arcana, nature, anything like that. Arcana, nature, history for Brian. You have no fucking clue what it is. 
What the hell is... What in the nine hells is that? <laughs> I'm gonna point right at it. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Brent? Well, no. Hey. I don't have any actual thing Blue. to do with bugs. I was just asking, because some people do other things. Well, um, I was just wondering, where is he pointing? Hey, where are this you guy pointing? here, like... Where are you pointing? Which direction are you pointing? To the left. To the left. To, to the west. Okay. I didn't move the east. On that other side. That's what you doing, Up Blue. is north, that would make left west. Yes. Blue, what are you doing? Uh, longbow attack. Wait, do I, wait let me see. You want to shoot him? Yep. Okay. Yep. Longbow attack, yeah. You should move to where you have line of line of attack. Yeah, you can shoot him from there if you want. Yep. Point for that roll. A ten does Ooh. not hit him. Not even close to him. He just flies past him. He's quite small. Five feet movement. Ten, fifteen. Okay, yeah. Five, ten, fifteen. Fifteen feet movement. I'm gonna move him over here. What yep. the hell is that? <laughs> uh, stealth. Stealth. I'm gonna uh, stealth. But, yeah, Rand, what are you doing? Oh shit. Alright, I see it now. I'm going bonus action hex it. And I'm going Eldritch Blast it twice. Okay. It just looks at you with like a grinning. This is what it looks like closer up. Oh god. Yes, go ahead, roll those two attacks. The first one hits him for two damage. The second one hits him for rather does not hit him as he casts the following spell you might remember it it's called this he oh shit a reaction to cast spell, uh, shield and the second one bounces off him. hey I mean if he's going to waste a spell slot I'm okay with it and that was 10 feet so I'm going to back up uh, an additional 20 to here And in my turn. Yep. Hepatitis, your turn. Uh, Hepatitis is going to slowly hyperventilate because she does not like this one bit. She's going to use her action to put away her shield and she's going to pull out her greatsword as the uh, use object of whatever the action is called. Yep. Right. So not going minus two AC. Uh. Uh. She's going to. Oh, where is it? That's the one. Uh, thunderous Smite in preparation. Okay, she's gonna burn a section across Thunderous Smite. What are you doing, Giant District Stank? Yeah. It's going to move here next to Abitur. Yep. And as soon as that thing comes around the corner and gets in range, it's going to attack it. Okay. That's all I was doing is prepping an action. Yep. The creature is going to move forward, even though it's hexed. It's going to move forward here. And it's going to cast a spell. Do you, does anyone have any counter spells? I'd just like to ask. <sighs> no. This nope. is going to hurt. This is going to hurt, yes. It's the first target, is the snake. So he's going to use the following spell. Where is it? <sighs> this has got Come way on. too many spells. Seriously. He really does. He's got six, level six. Okay. Why does he have that one fifth level spell? When is that going to be relevant? Uh, make a deck save, please. Throw a snake. There's a Ripped. arc, a, a, like a chain, like a chain of like a, a bolt of lightning that arcs towards the target and hits as many as three creatures. Each one should be thirty foot at the first target. So the first target is a snake. So snake takes forty-eight lightning damage and gets fried. Then the next target is Avatai. No. Hmm. It'd be better actually, I'll change it. It can't. Uh, it can't? If it's a deck, say, well, if lightning, if I remember correctly, is five feet and the snake's too big, so if it's sniping it from there, it was 30 feet, yeah. 30 feet. 
chain length and bounces, it's not a straight line like like Yeah, and the bounce is arc, it says literally arc. So uh, next one is blue. Unfortunately, because he failed his uh, stealth, it knows where you are based on your footsteps. So it fries the snake with the first one. The next one, make a deck save, Mr. Brogue. Okay, this time, shit, don't have it. Uh... One blue, I believe in you. Yep. It's only DC 17. You pass, and you only take 24 damage. Only. Only. Next one is Mr. Rand. Oh, shit. So make a deck save, Mr. Rand, and Argent. Make, yep, you get advantage as well, Argent. Yep, make a deck save, Mr. Argent. Rand, you pass, so you only take 24, and Argent oh, take come 48. Off. And that's the end of its turn. So is the snake still uh, alive? Braun goes down. Oh god. Braun, make that save. The, the, the snake is living. Oh god. That's a bad tick. Blue, you're conscious only just. What are you doing? Okay, uh. 10, ten feet movement over here. Yep. Yeah. Another 5 feet here. That's 15 feet of my movement. Okay. Yep. Five feet, ten feet. Uh, okay, I, I have enough movement to come to the corner. I'm now going to swallow down a portion of healing. Okay, that's an action. Anything else? Okay. Uh, bonus action hide. Yep, Rand, what are you doing? I'm going to pump ten points of lay on hands on the barbarian here. Okay, barbarian has ten HP. And uh, since this guy's got the disadvantage on perception checks, I'm going to move here. Okay. And end my turn. Alright, Appetitus, your turn. Uh, Appetitus going to, let's see, by here. Yeah. Just going to just look at it. And that is... Ah, oh, she's five foot too far, so she's just going to back up and panic a little bit more because she very recently had a very traumatic experience with someone shooting lightning. <laughs> of cough, trower. Uh, she is going to eat. Uh, oh, she's just going to. Well, she can't see, so she can't take the dodge action, so she's just going to do nothing. Okay, giant constrictor snake. It's going to move to the guy. Let me know when it gets there. I can't see for, through the snake. Yep, the snake moves here. It's into melee range of the, the guy. It's going to try and constrict it. Okay, the snake is three sizes too big for it. This is going to be funny. Okay, there you go. You should be able to see through the snake now. The 25 hits and constricts it and squeezes its life. Alright, so it's currently restrained. Uh, so it will, um, all attacks against it have advantage. Yep. And it can't move. Yep, that is true. And that will end its turn. Right. The creature is going to look through its spell list and do the following spell. It would like to use the following spell at max rank. It's called Witch Bolt. <laughs> well, do my snake. Actually. It's going to have disadvantage, so it shouldn't do that. It should use something with a saving throw. Lightning Bolt, at yeah. fifth level. Ah! In, at, in sheer anger, it blasts the Bolt of Lightning, hitting Argent and the Snake. The I'm just gonna, I'm just going to go down, because there's no way, I'm, okay. unless it rolls, like, all one. And it's going to have fifth level, so it's a DC 17. It's a snake maker. Not DC possible 17. to survive. Okay, you're unconscious. You're unconscious, Snake make a deck save. I'll tell you afterwards. The snake is dead. Or rather, oh no, that means the staff is destroyed, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, because it the staff destroys. I mean, it just sucked up two lightning bolts. What do you think? Brilliant. They make that save. You get a good tick. Blue, return. Uh, barely. 5 feet of movement, 10 feet of movement here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So don't mind this guy, I'm just using his dead body for something. Another five, and another fifteen feet. And I'm going to hide the bone faction and swallow down a portion of healing. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Ron, what are you doing? They make stealth roll. Ah, oh, thank God. Land's going to move here. Mm -hmm. Let's check the range. Yep, way too far. Okay, he's going to give a potion to the down barbarian. So that's five health. It's cute you think I'm ever actually going to do it, get to do anything with this initiative war. And uh, I think that's all my movement. So that's where I'm going to be. Okay. She's going to peek back around the corner. And it's still just too far away. So she's just gonna move back. I think a bit more, but besides that, nothing else. Yep. Okay, I'm just doing some RP shit. There you go. This creature's gonna then move uh, 30 foot round here, and then it's gonna think. Then it's going to do something that's going to terrify you all to the moment, say, Dimension Door. Over here. <laughs> no! Brian, your turn. <laughs> Wait, why did it teleport uh, there? Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm scared. God moves in mysterious ways. Yeah, Brian, what are you doing? Uh, things that kill us. Oh, God. Stand up. Get over here, drink another potion. And okay, turn. Appetite is hella hyperventilating. She can't <laughs> see anyone. And this thing is right in front of her. And saying weird shit to her. Last time someone entered her mind, she was terrified. That combined with the fact that, she's, that it's casted lightning, she's not a happy bunny. Okay, Brian, what are you doing? Uh, I said I stood up, moved there, and drank a yep. potion. Yep, Blue, your son. Okay, Blue's going to use five feet of his movement to move over to here. Uh, shit, uh, okay. Then, another 15 feet of movement to get here. Ah, I think this thing is, I think it's in range, yep. Longbow attack. Longbow attack, longbow attack. Peace out, peace no good. He, he doesn't have any cover. Uh, he just fired him, he just misses. He has 1817 as he managed to miss him with a longbow. And move back here and hide again. Bone faction hide. Yep. Brand your turn. I'm going to move uh, up here. He's still Hex Curse, so I'm going to blast it with Eldritch Blast. Takes ten damage. The first one, the second one misses entirely. And he's gonna move back here. And he's gonna use his. Yep, he's gonna use his reaction. First of all, we should move back. Uh, Eldritch Blast, so. Spell Force, so. So basically, Rand does a. Uh, what's his spell say? Well, hit me, no. No, of course, that's not gonna hit you. Uh, I have to roll it again. Uh, what is his spell? Modifier. His spell modifier is plus nine. Is it his spell modifier or does yeah, it? Yeah, fourteen uh, still works. It just says it's re-rolled. Uh, it says it's re-rolled in the literally the thing. Thirteen's not going to hit you anyway. It doesn't matter. He uses reaction to yep. reflect the spell out with you, and the spell bounces off the wall next to you. All right, 
Nah, it'll end my turn. I, I, I think the creature who casts the spell rerolls the attack against themselves, yes, actually. That's what's in the so, chat. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing, Appetitus? Uh, panic. Uh, swing greatsword. Ah, oh, yeah. The, the first uh, attack misses. You mean the attack misses? No, oh, the attack misses. He's gonna so ask you one have more one. time. Do you want to be happy, child? I'm very much happy without you. <laughs> he says, "As uh, is he uh, dimension doors again over to here, and that's <laughs> <action. laughs> being so cheeky. He is being very cheeky, and then he is going to." Do nothing else. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do nothing else. He's gonna move right here, get his reaction back, right up to the the warlock. Rian, your turn. Okay. Well, I'm up. He's in range. Let's get him. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I have reckless endurance. Well, I still have that for next time he tries yeah. down. Rage once. Yep, you're raging. We're gonna attack. First thing to get in range. We're gonna attack. Yep. We're gonna attack him recklessly, even. Recklessly. Ooh. Let's see his attacks. First one hits for eight damage. Second one hits for eleven damage. You've almost got him to two thirds HP. Well, you've gone to about two-thirds HP. Cheeky bastard, end turn. Okay, blue. Okay, ten, I'm going to use ten feet of my movement to move over to here. Longbow attack over here on this guy. Okay. Please admit, please, 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 please hit, please crit. That's 22 hit it. Hey, yep, 22 hits for some damage, 18. Uh, 16 damage. Yep. 16, numbers are hard. Yeah. I'm gonna move back over here again and bonus action stealth. Okay, Rand, your turn. I'm gonna swing at it. Okay. I love how you're trying to kill him. It's interesting. Uh, you're Ooh. very well hidden, Blue. <laughs> he takes uh, 17. Uh, actually, I'll bonus action Hexblade Curse him because you can stack those. Yeah, of course you can. Um, um, so that's. Uh, your uh, attack, your 21. Burning his reaction. Okay. Let's have this for the curse and then this for his versus your reaction. Sorry, wrong one. one. Yeah, yeah, wrong one. Wrong one. It's fine. Roll the light bringer. Uh, second one misses. Now in my turn. Titus. Oh, wait. I do have a bonus action, so he yeah. needs to make a deck save. Your bonus action was the hex play curse, if you just said. Oh, yeah. Damn no, it. Titus. You're right. Uh, bonus action. Oh, sorry, action, dash. Yep. Get right up in his face. And that's everything. Okay. He looks very concerned for the safety of his precious goods. He's going to move here. Is he going to provoke? No, he's not going to provoke. He's going to cast... Eldritch Blast at, uh, no he's not, he's a multi-attack, uh, the Barbarian, uh, the guy to north of, so multi-attack is three <laughs> attacks, one bite and one, sorry, two bite, okay, two bite to the north, there's a 25 hit. 13. No, 13, disadvantage. Oh, keep forgetting about that, because he can't attack, uh, thingy, he is going to then bite, sorry, tentacle, uh, disadvantage missing and then yes. he's gonna tentacle the uh, person below him, Appetitus. Does a 17 hit? No. Yes it does. You will grab one make it. Three tentacle does make two tentacles. Two bites and one tentacle. Be sure. Yep, you're right. Oh, yeah, three yeah. bites or two bites and a tentacle. Okay, yes, second so bite then instead. Blech. I missed that. This is why I throw the thing. That eight misses. Thank God. Three Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna keep giving them the stick. Okay. 
still reckless. Yep. I'm waiting for those rolls. That's a miss. That's a miss. Oh, that's a hit, sorry. He's going to take... The second hack is going to do damage to him. He's going to take 14. <laughs> and then turn. Then turn. Blue, your turn. I'm going to move five feet over here. Mm -hmm. Longbow attack. Okay. Okay, the longbow's here. That's 28. Uh, the there, the 20 hits, yes, for 15. Oh, he's gonna, so he's not gonna hit, he's gonna use shield and block that. Let's Him and his shield? Yeah, he's got like four first level slots. He's only used two of them. Now I'm gonna Wait, he's, I thought he's used shield like three times. He did use it three times. Really? Including this yep, time? Yep, this is the third one. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. He's okay, used yeah, it twice that's what I meant. Him. He's already used it twice, yeah. And this is the third now one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move back over here again and bonus action stealth. Okay. Rand, your turn. Your turn. Uh, but he needs to make a deck save, DC 13. For what? Potion of Fire Breathing. Potion of Fire Breathing, right. That's magical, right? Yep. Uh, I don't think it's a magic resistance. Nope, I don't think he does. He needs to make a deck save. Sorry, it's the first one for three. He oh, that's a horrible thing. Three yeah. damage? damage? Yep. Breathe Alright, that's the bonus action, and then I make two attacks. Yep. You cough. <laughs> you cough on him. He takes 20, 24 is way higher than 22. Yes, he takes some damage by some Alright, I'm going to Eldritch Smite him, so yep. that's a uh, 4. Yep, you're going to try and up him prone with that as well. Let's see if he's immune to prone. Don't think he is. Nope. 15. Additional takes, 15. It takes 15 force damage. And uh, now I got triple advantage to attack him, so I'm going to use it. Okay. Look at all this advantage. Yep. Okay, I roll more time to quit crit fish. Otherwise, otherwise he's just taking 18. Yeah, he's just taking 18. Yep, takes 18. Anything else, Rand? That's all I can do. Okay, Abatitis. You get advantage. Yep. Uh. Hi, yeah. 20. He just says that to you as you strike him, roll damage. That's a non. Is that a magical greatsword? Uh, that doesn't hit with shield? That doesn't well, I also have. Do you have the thingy? The guiding strike? Yeah. Uh. Used it already. Oh, he's used it already. Yeah, used it on the thing. Ah. Oh. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Creature's gonna do something. Uh. Something interesting. Something very interesting. I don't like the sound. Ah. Oh no. He's gonna disappear. Brilliant, what are you doing? Yeah, he's not going to expand. No, he's going to disappear. He's going to disappear. Yep. Like he casts a spell, and if anyone wants to counter spell it, and then he's going to disappear. Nobody here has counter spell. Okay, it's worth just checking. No, my rage. I don't even know what counter spell it is. Wait, it's what it says on the tin, you counter a spell. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is, you can always just counter spell. Yep. I think un until it's like 6th level, then you have to use a higher slot. Well, depends. Do I have to go around this corpse here or what? No, oh, so I'll get the rid of the corpse, that's just for flavor. Clean flavor. Hit the, the corpse! On top of the corpse, on top of the corpse, you each find one HP bot. Uh, I, he buggered off. Shoot, I'll try. We, we find a. Oh. Each get There's a HP. single one or one each? One HP. Yeah, I'm gonna each. drink. What, you I'm gonna, gonna drink, drink it? Each. No, I'm gonna drink one of mine. Okay, yeah. Okay, you gain 9 HP. So, 7 HP. Fucking rage. 
Great health. Great health. Anything else, Brian? Uh, no enter. Blue. I'm going to do the Rima action for if it ever comes. Actually, no, it's good. Uh, no, no, actually, I'm going to down a healing portion. Okay. Right. This is my what last healing portion. I'm just gonna walk out here and be like, all right, where is he? Can I take a search action yep, or? Can you take a search action? Go ahead, perception. You do not see anything or sense anything around you. He seems to have vanished. Yep. Well, I've seen him teleport around, so it's very likely he could have just ran, so. That's it, that's all I can do. Abatitis, what are you doing? Uh, let's see. Move here. Thirty. Forty. And I'm going to take the dash action. Okay. Towards the door. Yep. Brian, what are you doing? I'm going to move to leave, I guess. Um, sh I don't want to get too far away from the party, so I'm gonna hold my action to attack with the official. Don't even be behind, guys. Enter. Okay, with that, you hear this in your minds the telepathic, disgusting creature, and with that, combat ends. Rand's just going to fire off a few uh, of the fire breaths just out of frustration. <laughs> I so wanted to use my uh, thunderous smite. I held that for four rounds. Yeah, you did. Frustratingly smash the wall with thunderous smite. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Rand's just going to collect the um, potions and head out. Yep. Everyone gets an extra potion each, a potion of healing. And why head out? Where do you want to? Where do you want to go? Are they spectators? If you're here. We're just heading out where we came. That's the answer to your question. Unless we see, like, anything else. Like, is there anything you're going to see with that fireplace? Do you want to take a look at it? Sure. Okay, you have to get a bit closer. I, I'm going to go a little closer to it, too. Yep, as you head towards it, you notice it's a giant fireplace. Like, a huge one. A I'm very big fireplace. Okay. I'm going to... Inspect it. Yep, Insp uh, inspection check. Investigation, yeah. Investigation roll. Okay. Can I move up to it, by the way? Like, yeah, go, move yeah, up go to it, move yeah. right up to it. I can go and move right up to it. By the way, DM, if um, that damn roll was a little bit higher, he'd be dead. Yep. For the fire breath. Yep. Literally, he was very, very low. Oh, dude, that is a dwarven. That is clearly a dwarven made fireplace. Uh, in fact, it doubles up as a smelter. Basically, if you feed it enough coal and coke and small, uh, all that kind of stuff, enough stuff to burn, you can use it as a forge uh, if needs be, or a smelter if needs be. But at the moment, it's just serving as a fireplace now. I just tell them that. Like, I just tell this guy over here that. This is made by dwarves. It's not just a normal fireplace, it can double as a forge if you give it enough fuel. I mean, we were contacted by a bunch of dwarves to clear the place. It's cleared as best we could do. If that thing shows up, it'd probably die, so it ran. So let's go report back and get out. Understood. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to report a victory. So you headed back to Kane then and to discuss the the terms, because I think that's a mission success. Uh, you get uh, everyone who is E rank gets three pips. Uh, D rank. Holy shit! I'm a D rank now. Two pips. Yep. And uh, any C ranks? There's no C ranks. Get one pip. Uh, it's seven hundred gold. And don't forget one potion of healing each. Wait, wait, this means I got better rewards for this mission, which was easier than the last one I did. Which one did you do last time? Damien. The one with the, the uh, undead one. 
that you threw us against like a bone claw and several other things. Yeah, but this is my mission. Was... That was someone else's mission. Someone else wrote that one. This is one HP potion better reward. Yeah. <laughs> and uh... it's like half as hard. Yep. Don't come I don't know about half as hard because I literally had a magic item that took, I don't know, 88 damage for all of them. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I le it literally ate two fifth level spell slots, and one of those fifth level spell slots was such that you guys didn't get hit. By it okay. was, yeah, pretty stuff. Okay, but keep in mind, we aren't like two C ranks and two D ranks, and limping out of here with like maybe twenty health between us, yep. and no and no potions left, and no spells. Yep. That one was so. Garbage. Yep. Yeah. The, the description for the job was there are three to six encounters and one to two short rests. In my job, there are this many encounters and this many short rests. Not like two to six, so you can't change it depending who comes. And also, mine scales. He just said, oh, just throw whatever in his document. So I'm like, fine, I'll just run, I'll throw whatever. But mo people are going to think it's me <laughs> being hard. But no, it's it's literally it. the most lethal. Mission yeah, that it, I think John's ever says, run, and it wasn't his. Yeah, basically not mine. It just says any and encounters that are undead, three to six encounters, one to two short rests. So I threw the. Well, goodbye, e rank. Yep, goodbye, e rank. I'm not part of you anymore, peasants. <laughs> You're part. Well, how dare like, you? Two of well, us are e rank. What do you want? To I'm the. Oh, oh, does that mean no. I'm the only e rank now? You got, three, you got three pips, and you're still e rank. Don't worry, I Abe. just I'll leveled be. up. Next uh, next mission this week gets me to D rank. Nice. What level are you? Oh, you're so good at uh, Cy yeah. Cyborg, you better not let people die. I still remember what you did. <laughs> who, who's speaking? I'll say, who, 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 who said that? Who said that? Mooney. This is Mooney. You, you got me and t Tower I, killed in the mission. I, I, have, I ain't done nothing. I've done nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yes, exactly. That was the problem. That was where's really you, the problem. Where's your proof? Where's your proof? <laughs> where's your proof? My proof is because I'm rest, I know. <laughs> you were know, captured in that mission, you silly. I remember yeah, that you captured. Every, <laughs> every this... time I go on a D rank mission with E ranks, we come back and they like level up, and I'm like, well, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> and good I just say it in the most the long dead dead manner I can because after you get to D rank, you die so much easier. Yep. It's not yeah. even funny. Especially like, when you're level 5. Because yeah. level 7, you, you start to get some good shit together. But at level 5? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good job. If you survive the next mission. Just for but reference, <coughs> that, that, uh, that 48 damage would have taken me down to like 5 health. And I might level 8. So, People and eight that's your regular D rank. So. <laughs> that was the monster. If you're wondering what it is, called a Morkov. Yep, I found it in, uh, yep. I found it on, Chain like, Lightning fucking hell. Has so many spell slots, I was like, holy <sighs> shit. CR11. Yeah, but it's a seven You, have, counter, you have not so. seen what me and John are designing currently, but yeah, everyone is going to have a blast. Oh, no. Not, no, that's not the reaction we 